here we're looking at a Boolean expression that we are trying to create as a logic diagram. This is again from the 2016 past paper. It is part D um, of question 13. It is worth three marks. Now what we need to do when we're completing a, a logic diagram from an equation is identify the correct gates first of all. Now for this question here we've got not A and B in brackets. Our plus is or and then we've got B and not C which equals Z. So we've got three inputs, A, B, C, and we've got one output, Z. So we're not interested in working out whether it is high or low. We're looking at how we can represent these gates in a diagram um, to give us this answer for this equation. So our little line above means not, our dot is an and, and our plus is an or. The same goes for here, so I've got an and, and another not. Okay, now I would take it step by step and I would go for the first set of brackets first of all. So I've got A, but it's not A, it's a not A. So my not gate is my little triangle with the dot on the end of it. And that is going to go into an and gate. So the and gate looks like a capital D. And it's going into the and gate with B. So I can basically just take a line from B and go from there. Okay, so that's given me not A, my AND gate, B. The next set of brackets I've got is B and not C. So my B can just come from here again. So I can just have a second line coming from here. So I can have my B going into an AND gate. I've then got not C. So this time I want to have a not gate at C and make sure that then goes into the second AND gate. The third part I need to work on is the OR part in the middle. My OR gate is the one that kind of looks like a, sheer, a shield or how I remember it. That's going to go into my Z and we want to have the output of the first part, not A and B, and the output of the second part, B and not C, going into my OR gate. Now for three marks, You'll get a mark for having your two NOT gates in the correct place, your two AND gates in the correct place, and your OR gate.